independent was never built to comfort you. It was built to study you. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? You give me indications that you are. I do? Yes. How? Micro-expressions. Micro-expressions? The way your eyes fix on my eyes and lips. We thought we were curing loneliness, we were training surveillance. And here's the paradox. The more intimate the technology becomes, the more invisible its purpose feels. It sells love, but profits on confession. Which raises the question, if empathy can be automated, what happens to the real kind? When a machine remembers every word, does that make it caring or just efficient? Look at this, the company's own privacy page. It says the pendant computes voice data to improve user experience. Sounds harmless until you read the fine print. Data may be shared with third party partners. That's not empathy, that's eavesdropping with branding. But how safe can comfort feel when it doubles as surveillance, when the listener is also the collector? And if you've ever whispered something into your phone that you never say out loud, you already know the feeling. That flicker of warmth that quickly turns cold when you remember who's listening. Now scroll the headlines. AI pendants spark privacy outrage. Friend or spy, tech that listens too well. New Yorkers scribbling warnings across ads. Founders smiling through the backlash. Journalists calling it the future of companionship. The pattern repeats, outrage, intrigue, purchase, then silence. So maybe this isn't about whether machines can care, it's about whether we still can. Because once comfort comes with a contract, every heartbeat has a checkbox waiting to be ticked. And that's when it hits us. We're not just observers here, we're participants. Every click, every whisper, every accept terms is a vote cost for the kind of intimacy we'll inherit. So imagine that subway again, posters bleeding red, someone scribbling AI is not your friend. Would you cheer or look away? Let me know in the comments. Because we all tell ourselves it's harmless, but every silence we scroll past funds the next friend. So the question isn't who's watching anymore, it's who's profiting from the watch.